Hello, welcome to Heads in the Cloud. I'm Leo. I'm Swampy. I'm the head of Neighbourhood Watch on the Strait of Hard Knocks. Hi, I'm Phil and I talk tech. This one's from uh, Pip in Footscray. She asks, Dear Swampy, what do you think of the 25-storey tower the state government has greenlit for Footscray? Especially considering that's double the 12-storey limit recommended by the City Council Skyline study. Well, Pip, where do I start? Jeez, I mean, 25 storeys. 25 storeys? I mean, what do they want 25 storeys for? I could tell them 25 storeys. And they'd just be the ones about Teddy Whitten. Jesus, I don't know. I mean, you know, what do they do? Do they look at Footscray and go, oh, what do they need down there? What do they need? I know, let's cast a bigger shadow over their dimly lit lives. And if we get it just right, maybe we'll reflect some light back onto the east and we can work on our suntan. Jesus. Do you, don't stand in the way of the planning minister. He'll stick a skyscraper on top of you. But, you know, if you look at the situation, I think it's very insightful because if someone has to stick up a building that big and has to be that many stories, it's actually revealing the truth. And that truth is, that person, extremely small penis. In complete neglect of duty, everyone's obsessed with booty. If you made it this far and you're watching me, you're missing out on current trends in world celebrity. You can plot the moves to make for the ultimate career, not necessarily in order for yourselves. I'll list them here. Get a start in soapies, make the change to rock. Then you do the sex tape. Next, your boyfriend's dropped. Get, then lose a habit, release a clothing line. There's a million dollar book deal and the titles, I mean mine. Do the chat show circuit if your publicist is good. Reinvent yourself, then move to Hollywood. Gain some weight, then you're a hero when you get back to size zero. When everybody knows your views, forget the issues. This is news. While the world may need us to take action, we buy what sells and that's distraction. Incomplete neglect of duty Everyone's obsessed with booty. Search. Google. What do we know about it? What we've got to understand is the difference between search as a user and search as a publisher. Uh, and to give you a clue, Google have a list. At Google headquarters, it's a live view of the top search word on the internet as we speak. And that word's been the same for the last five years. Do you know what that word is? Google. Googling, what's all that about? Can you Google yourself? I did that once. Wasn't very happy with the results. Well, I'm an old man. Well, I have a question here from uh, Marcus in Paran who says, Dear Swampy, you seem like a colourful character. Thank you, Marcus. Do you have a background in theatre? Well, Marcus, that's very astute of you because I do, in fact, have a theatrical background. Uh, in the halcyon days of the 1970s when I was earning and in charge of the school board down there at Whitton Oval, I was also a member of the Footscray West Amateur Theatrical Society. We did a lot of productions. Uh, I remember my first one. It was only a small role. I was in South Pacific playing a seagull. But I think my theatrical peak was probably playing uh, Friar Lawrence in Romeo and Juliet. And, of course, my big show-stopping spoon solo. Oh, yeah, people love that. It actually wasn't in the script. And it used to give the director the shits, but, oh, jeez, it was popular. It was a great moment. I think people will be pleased to hear, though, I am making a theatre comeback. Because here in the inner west it is, of course, the epicentre of fringe theatre in Australia. And I've been approached to be in a, uh, a brave new work because of my background. It's a, it's a three-hander. It's called The Homeless Man, The Lesbian and The Milk Crate. I am very confident we'll get funding for it. As a web publisher, you need to get search results. You need to understand how people use search and for that you need to understand what type of search they're using. And not everybody uses Google search. In fact, as a visual performer, you may indeed need YouTube uh, to be your search engine. As a, a second-hand furniture supplier, you may in fact find that eBay is your best vehicle. And then there's search by image. And in fact, if you look up your own name in search by image, 
that's probably a good idea for anybody who's promoting their, their face. Uh, in fact, if you look up my name, you'll find one image that I can't get rid of, and it's in fact a tombstone with my name on it. I'd like to show you an Australian flag. Oh, whoops. I was missing out a bit. There's the rest. We got one here from Suki in Heidelberg. On your six. Hope you don't mind me calling you that. She says, Dear Swampy, what do you think about the carbon tax? Oh, Suki, so that's a bit of a hot topic at the moment, isn't it? Everyone's going on about the bloody carbon tax, and the truth be told, I'm finding it all a bit carbon taxing. And I just put the bugger through and let's get on with our lives, eh? I know what some of you are saying, though, Swampy, when it comes to you and taxes, you don't really have to worry much, do you? You know, if the ATA did an audit of me, it's true, it would only take about 17 seconds. They'd go, yeah, beanie, shirt, jacket, trousers, slippers, done. Because I do like to go commando. But really, at the end of the day, I've got some advice for you. I have. I know how to resolve the whole climate change, global warming, end of the power resources situation. Be like me. Don't have a home. Eh? Jeez, I save on power. Look at all you buggers out there, enormous carbon footprints. Me, what have I got? I've got kind of a, it's a carbon, and that's it. I'm very interested in the writings of Marcus Westbury, who writes about arts funding in Australia. And his favourite factoid is this. Opera Australia last year received more funding from the Australia Council than all the applicants for all six of the Australia Council's major art form boards combined. Opera Australia alone received 18.3 million. By contrast, the Australia Council's entire competitive funds for literature, music, theatre, dance, visual arts, inter-arts and cross-art form projects combined totaled just 17.6 million. Then of course there's search engine optimization or SEO, a way to get your result to the top of the search engine list. And this is a fantastic opportunity for third party providers to rip you off. If you, uh, if you have an ad that suggests they can provide search engine optimization for your business, avoid it like the plague. Search engine optimization really is about providing good, solid content. Uh, you can use any trick in the book, but Google will possibly penalize you down the track. My best advice is to avoid the sharks. Don't pay for search engine optimization. Write content. For more details on search, get back to the website. At headsinthecloud.tv, we'll have links, stories, video, you name it, we'll provide it.